So let's move on now and let's talk about report one. Now, if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see that report one is due next Friday, May 31st by midnight, okay? And uh, if you look at the Moodle assignment sheet, it'll actually say June 1st, but that's because I have the, the cutoff date set at midnight. So you need to have it in before midnight, but then remember also that there are two caveats. One, if there's some sort of extenuating circumstances, you can come talk to me or make an arrangement to talk to me. Or you can always, if you need a little extra time, make sure that you either post it before 8 a.m. or you email it to me before 8 a.m. so it's not technically late. So let's talk about report one. Now, the real way to get to report one is under course assignments here, and you can go this way, okay? It's gonna take you to the same place, but if you need to, just a quick shortcut, I've gone ahead and put it here and lead you to the same location. So let's scroll down here. So report one is what I call the topic and rationale for your graphic novel paper. And you'll see there's the due date, and this assignment basically will ask you, uh, you'll be asked to write a brief one to two page summary analysis and I have a template for you to work off um, where you will basically do a summary analysis of your potential graphic novel selection. The purpose of this will be to help you begin uh, your investigation of the text by viewing it through the lens of performing a textual analysis. Now uh, tomorrow I will be talking more about this idea of textual analysis and analysis itself. I do have a small definition here, but I will have an official video and post, but you'll see here that a textual analysis is, this is a, the method of communication that researchers use to describe and interpret the characteristics of a recorded or visual message. When engaging in a textual analysis, your purpose is to describe the content, structure, and functions of the messages contained in different texts. Your analysis, so first of all, you have to summarize it. So you're gonna be asked in the briefest form to basically give me the gist, the rundown, the basic, here's what happens in the story, followed by, once you've established that, you will then basically set up for us a, a deeper analysis. If you wanna think about this or picture this, um, I oftentimes like to present the idea of imagine the surface of water. A summary is you simply describing the surface of the water, okay? But that's only the beginning. Once you get in the water, an analysis is going into the water itself. What is beneath that water? What is that water made of? How does it feel? You're getting in beyond what is something, simply a description of what it is and really getting into the idea of how it works. Another analogy would be the idea that if you say, look at a watch, um, you know, if you imagine a watch or an old pocket watch or even imagine an Apple watch, I'm holding mine in front of me right now. And so imagine this idea that if I was looking at this and I were to summarize it, I would simply describe the Apple watch to you. I would describe its look, its feel. I would maybe describe whatever picture I have on it, what apps are on it. That's, that would be my summary. An analysis of this might then look a little bit different. I, that analysis would be me taking this apart to figure out how it does the things that it does, okay? So an analysis for us will be digging deeper into the graphic novel itself beyond simply what transpires. And the idea hopefully will be a way for you to sort of push the idea of discovering what might end up being your research question that will eventually lead to your thesis statement. Now, along the way here, there's a lot of different ways to approach analysis, and we'll be talking, like I said, more about this. But it says here that analyzing involves digging deeper into the meaning of a text. It goes beyond memorizing facts, dates, and names. It requires more than main ideas and details. That would be something that would be in a summary. Analyzing means forming an educated opinion about what you have read. One way to analyze it is to ask questions about the text. And so what I've done below here is I presented a whole bunch of different categories and approaches that could be used to investigate the text. So you'll see here that I've set up some general questions things like this. And these are ideally meant that you might choose like one, two, probably even three of these and use these to probe deeper into the text. You know, what is your first reaction to what you saw? What about the quality of the art? What do you think about the quality of the story? Do you know anyone that might like to read this graphic novel? Why is that? Who might the audience for this book be? What, if anything, might someone um, learn from reading what you read, what you saw? Did you see anything that would cause you to hesitate to purchase a particular title? 
Um, can you imagine someone in your community objecting? All right. And then I break this down to basically more specific questions about plot, aesthetics. And if you don't know what aesthetics is, um, this is something that will come up in the definition McLeod gives for comics. And he'll say something about an aesthetic appeal. An aesthetic appeal for you is when you look at something and you find it pleasing to the eye. So if you look at artwork, and you like that artwork, you find it aesthetically pleasing. If you look at the artwork and you find it not pleasing, um, that would be a, an example of a negative aesthetic. Let me show you something um, that will hopefully help me illustrate this. Okay, this is an artist named Jay Lee. Okay, let's see if I can find a really big version of this photo. All right, there we go. Nope, back up. Apologies, I need to... See, I want the open image in the new tab. There we go. There it is. All right. So take a moment, look at this. Okay. My friend, my very best friend, Casey Franklin, he is not a fan of this. He does not find this aesthetically pleasing. And you see Superman, Batman here. I like it. Okay. That is because it's aesthetically pleasing to me. If you look at this and you find yourself that you like this artistic style, then it is aesthetically pleasing. If you find that you don't, then it's not. Okay. That's what we mean by aesthetics. Okay. So you'll see, I've got several questions talking about like artistic style, things of that nature. And then we get into ideas of layout and arrangement. We even get into questions of style and I've got some connecting links here about different types of style and there's high, medium, middle style. So if you're not familiar with that and even um, I've got some information here about style, um, some different things about clarity, grandeur, beauty, things of that nature, some classical stuff that might be useful, even questions about genre and interpretation. And then on top of all this, I even have a further thing here where it talks about things about analyzing the argument, the structure, and this comes from the University of UTEP, which is University of Texas in El Paso. So all of this is designed, and we'll, we'll flesh this out a little bit more when we talk about the analysis video that I will have a post about next, oh, I'm sorry, tomorrow. But getting this further along, I'm, to help you along this path a little bit, I've got two documents here at the bottom. All right, the first one is the assignment sheet itself. All right, so I'm going to pull this up. And then I've got an example here, okay? And you'll see that these mirror each other roughly. All right. So real quickly... This is a template. All you would need to do for this template is if you download this, all you have to do is plug in the relevant information. So you see here where things are highlighted, you could simply remove this, put your name. So if I were to do this, and let's just say I put my own name here, same, boom. And what are we, course 71. I put the due date, oh, that's 31st of May, 2019. Okay, so now I've done that. And then you'll see beneath here that there are some subheadings. You should keep these subheadings. And what you need to do, though, is enter the information. So whatever my graphic novel is, I would put it here. So let's say um, right off the top of my head, I was looking at uh, in the preliminary research post, I looked at Grant Morrison's Flexman Tallow. And just off the top of my head, I know who the artist is. So Grant Morrison, so he's the writer, and Frank Whiteley. Okay, so that's the artist. So I list Morrison being the first person, first name, comma, last name, and then first name, last name. And then it would be Flex Mentallo, um, Man of Muscle Mystery, I think is the name. That's the full title. Of course, I would put that in italics. And you treat this exactly the same way you would MLA format a book. I want you to practice this, okay? Um, and then, of course, um, I think the next thing I need, because I'm treating this as a book, is DC Comics comma, and then whatever the year would be here, period. Boom. That's all. That's what you need. And you should be able to locate this quite easily for all your things. In fact, if you're logging into the Comixology app, um, let me pull back here and let's go ahead and head over there real quickly. Let me show you um, where you would locate this. So I'm going to go over here to Comixology and let me go ahead and log in. Let me actually show you where to find this information. So go over here to my books. Okay, I'm going to go to browse my library. Let's say I'm doing this one here, all new Captain America. Okay, so let's pick the book. And this is pretty much available for all of you, okay? But like right here, down here at the very bottom, there is this thing called issue info, okay? You get the summary and boom, right here. Notice what I've got here. Here's the writer. Here's the artist. 
here's the publisher, here's the year, here's the title. Everything I need. So if I was writing this one, it'd be Remender, comma, Rick, and Stuart Emojin, period. All new Captain America Volume 1, colon, Hydra Ascendant, all that italics, period. Marvel Characters, Inc., comma, 2015, period. That's what I would write, okay? And that brings me back to my document here. So that would cover this material here. Then I have the two sections, okay? And then I just sort of lay out a general idea of what you should be looking for. So summary, write a brief summary. And I want to be roughly equal linked to the analysis below describing the graphic novel's text. The purpose of this section is to give you a brief understanding of the actual plot and characters of the graphic novel. So I just want the story, what happens, okay? Main points. And then beneath it, the analysis is write a brief analysis equal to the part above, describing your graphic novel's text, specifically analyzing its value to you, uh, to you think it might, that it might regard a potential research question you are posing. Please look at the information, uh, information in the assignment sheet. So I'm referencing you back. But the idea behind this, even if you just did most basic, and this is something I teach my 101 students, in the most basic form of analysis is, okay, what was the purpose of the writers and artists in creating it? Who are they trying to reach? And what is the potential message they're trying to convey? If I take it in its most basic form, that would be a really just basic analysis. And you could do that, but you could go beyond that as well. Now, the, this is the second document. So that's the first document there. And of course, we'll talk more about that analysis section. But the example here, this is a previous work done by another, a student. Now, it's a little long and it does go on two pages. Um, and I feel like their analysis could be a little bit more, but they did a fairly decent job here. So you'll see I've removed that information, but you notice they keep this and they did Saga. And so you see here the author, the artist, the title in italics. This should have been a period right here. Okay, not everything perfect. All right, image comics, comma, 2014 period. And then they gave me a description and they actually, um, I was hoping, I would have hoped that they would have liked to see them quote something, but they didn't. But they did a good job at least referencing and they even made specific reference to certain pages where things were transpiring that they felt were important for the analysis. So what I encourage you to do is not only be looking at the template and be thinking about the questions going forward, but also take a look at that example and get an idea, get a feel for how other people have done that. I try to provide examples for all my assignments so you get a sort of an idea of not only what I'm looking for, and, and keep in mind these are not perfect, they usually have some flaws to them, but they're usually good assignments designed to sort of help you get a very good idea of what I'm looking for in terms of product that you will turn into me. All right? And so that will be, like I said, due next Friday. All right? So again, if there's any questions that come up, and I'll probably put up a discussion forum here to later tonight or tomorrow uh, to sort of ask questions and let you guys interact and ask me further questions. So look for something probably tomorrow um, after the analysis section goes up. I will probably have a the second discussion forum for us to look at, and that one will focus on questions surrounding the graphic novels and the summary and analysis of report one that I'll be asking you guys to sort of ask me questions because I want to make sure that there is even if there's even if you feel like you have a pretty good understanding I want to make sure that we have good elaboration good conversation about the things that are going on so that no one feels like they're being left in the dark all right